My deepest apologies. Let me introduce myself properly. I'm your future and your prophecy. Navigate the way to the top, girl. Just follow me. Everyone, it's your girl, Goddess Fumilaya. Hopefully, you watched my last video where I talk about the laws of nature. And then I have another video I just recently did where I speak about the fact that consciousness is not a religion. Okay, so when I first reached the point when I realized, okay, I see that there is a matrix. And when I started breaking those chains, you know, freeing my mind from the system that I was put here under, start understanding what it is that's going on around me, you know, I still was kind of lost a little bit. I still was missing. I was still looking for some form of guidance. Now, although I learned to use my third eye, I still, you know, it was something missing. I was still, there was a lot of confusion. I didn't know which way to go, whether I should go left or should I go right. You know, I always had a bunch of people telling me this way is the right way. This is what I should do. This is, you know, I need to go and study back into my African history and, and, and spirituality, which is something that I'm all for. Okay, I'm a big advocate and if you don't know where you've been, you will never know where you're going and it's very important to learn who you are and love who you are. But I'm talking about, you know, just having a place of emptiness where you feel like you, you know, because in life as humans, we all need something to believe in. I realized that, you know, the universe and it just life has always sent me messengers and people to come in my life as spirit guides or as soulmates to just kind of change my consciousness, to come and help teach me a lesson. And I know these people are spirit guides or soulmates because they came and they have a very special place in my heart, even though they may not be in my life on a day-to-day -day basis. I met people from all over the world, okay? When I tell you just doing things that I regularly do, Instagram, Facebook, work, on a, on a plane, I've met so many beautiful spirits and, and they teach me things and they give me their insight on things and each encounter opens my eyes. A lot of the souls that's come into my life, you know, they have a specific purpose. You know, a lot of times people think, you know, when people come into your life that they're supposed to be there forever or even a friendship with your homegirl. Some friendships aren't supposed to be forever. Sometimes you have a homegirl and she might be good for that specific time in your life. She may not be someone that's meant to be your ride or die best friend forever. You know, she may come to teach you a lesson, teach you what kind of friends you don't want. Every day is an experience. Every day is a, a, a class. The universe will always bring you teachers, spiritual advisors, messengers, angels, protectors, whenever it is that you really need it. I don't want anyone to ever worry about if they're in the place that they're supposed to be because everything, remember the law of gestation, okay? If you've seen my other video, I explained the law of gestation, but remember that. The law of gestation states that everything will happen in divine timing. When it's supposed to happen, how it's supposed to happen, when you are ready. Whatever it is you think about, whatever it is you put energy into, is what you're going to get back. So, okay, let me give you an example. Um, for instance, I really want a big house. You know, I want a nice big house. I want a big full of pantry. I want a nice porch, a deck in the back. I want a lot of grass space in my back, um, fenced off with a beautiful, beautiful um, area for me to have my garden. I want to have fresh vegetables and plants and flowers and herbs growing all in my backyard. So I need a lot of space, okay? So if you can picture this with me, I want a nice big house, nice walk-in closets. I want four plus bedroom, three plus bathroom, big closet, laundry room. I want a walk-in pantry. Do you hear me? I want a walk-in pantry. I want to stock food for days, okay? Months, years. So every day when I'm in a bathtub or I'm in the shower or I'm driving to work or I just have a time to just, you know, get a moment to myself, I always close my eyes or sometimes even with my eyes open, I just envision me laying out on my deck. You know, my son in a swimming pool, my other son come out and ask me a question. I envision this house with my pantry full of food and pictures on the wall and just beautiful plants everywhere. I really envision this and I lay there and I just can see a whole 
situation with me in this home. So right now, within this past year and a half, I've been really focusing on my credit and paying all my bills on time and working full time plus overtime, you know, budgeting and stacking my money. So basically what I did was I thought about what it is that I wanted. I envisioned it. Of course, I wrote it down. Um, I even have a vision board, okay? I got my pantry, I got my porch, I got everything on my vision board, all right? And I'm actually doing the work behind it. And I'm also believing that I already have this house. I just don't have it physically. I don't have the keys physically in my hand yet, but I still, I believe it. So I'm going to do another video for y'all because this is the law of attraction, the law of vibration. The law of vibration states that anything you think about, what you put energy into is what it is I'll get back. So I'm thinking about this house. I'm envisioning this house. I want this house. I'm speaking it. I'm putting in the work. I, I'm doing it. And eventually, I know I'm going to get my house. So I'm going to follow up with you guys. And I'm going to show you guys how the law of attraction works. Because I believe it. Hey, everyone. So here's a chapter of a book. It's called Circle 7. This book changed my life. I really wanted to um, read this to you all. I read it to my siblings. I read it to my children. Of course, some of them took it. Some of them didn't. Um, but I just really wanted to share it with you. And maybe we can have a discussion on it. And if future video or maybe on a future live video that I do on Facebook or something um, because this particular chapter changed my life. This this chapter really gave me an understanding and this is why I don't count out all books. I don't count out all religion because within everything, within every religion, you can find some truth. So I'm going to read this chapter for you and here we go. Alright, so this is... Um, Divine Instruction from the Holy Prophet um, is the book called Circle 7, Chapter 1, The Creation and Fall of Man. Time never was when man was not. If life of man at any time began, a time will come when it will end. The thoughts of a law cannot be circumscribed. No finite mind can comprehend things infinite. All finite things are subject to change. All finite things will cease to be because there was a time when they were not. The bodies and the souls of men are finite things and they will change. Yeah, from the finite point of view, the time will come when they will be no more. But man himself is not the body nor the soul. He is a spirit and a part of Allah. Creative fate gave to man, to spirit man, a soul that he might function on the plane of soul. Gave him a body of flesh that he might function on a plane of things made manifest. Why did creative fate give to spirit man a soul that he might function on a plane of soul? Why did creative fate give to soul a body of flesh that he might function on a plane of things that are made manifest? Hear now, ye cherubim, ye seraphim, ye angels, and ye men. Hear now, O protoplast and earth and plant and beast. Hear now, ye creeping things of earth, ye fish that swim, ye birds that fly. Hear now, ye winds that blow, ye thunders and ye lightnings of the sky. Hear now, ye spirits of the fire of water, earth, and air. Hear now, O everything that is or was or ever will more be. For wisdom speaks from out of the highest plane of spirit life. Man is a thought of Allah. All things of Allah are infinite. They are not measured by time. For the things that are concerned with time begin and end. Now that will take you to the very first sentence where it says, Time never was when man was not. In life of man at any time begin, a time will come when it will end. So man is a finite being. Okay? It's, it's temporary. It was created, and so there will be a time that is not there anymore. But the spirit, it's saying, is infinite, okay? And it was never created or destroyed. It is. Okay, I'll keep going. Here now, O oh, everything that is or was or evermore will be, for wisdom speaks from the highest plane of spirit life. Man is the thought of Allah. All things of Allah are infinite, and they are not measured up by time. For the things that are concerned with time begin and end. The thoughts of Allah are the everlasting of the past and to the never-ending days to come. And so is man, the spirit man. But man, like every other thought of Allah, 
was but a seed, a seed that held within itself the potencies of Allah, just as the seed of any plant of earth holds deep within itself the attributes of every part of the special plant. Do you understand that? So just like every plant that you ever will find in earth, deep within itself you will find a seed. Okay, a seed that has everything that that plant has. So they're saying, this book, this chapter is saying that we are but a seed of Allah. We are a thought of Allah. So we have the very attributes within us, within our spirit, that the creator has. Just like a plant, you know, an orange seed. It has everything that that orange has and also the power to create another orange. Do you feel me? Okay, I'm going to keep going. I love this. This is like my favorite chapter in the whole wide world. Now, seeds are perfect. Yeah, as perfect as the source from which they come. But they are not unfolded into life made manifest. The child is as perfect as the mother is. So man, the seed must be deeply planted in soil that he might grow. Unfold as does the bud unfold to the show the flower. The human seed that come forth from the heart of Allah was full ordained to be the Lord of the plane of soul and of the plane of things made manifest. So basically, just like we are a seed of Allah, but we are not as powerful or we're not, we haven't manifested to that state where the great Allah is, is because we're still a seed. We need to be watered. We need to be nourished. We need to have our different phases, allow the law of gestation to take place. The human seed that come forth from the heart of Allah was full ordained to be the Lord of the plane of soul and of the planes of things made manifest. So Allah, the husband man of everything, that is, threw forth his human seed into the soil of soil. It grew the kingdom of the soil. Hark now, let every creature hear the plane of the soul is but the ether of the spirit plane vibrating not so fast and in the slower rhythm of this plane. The essence of life are manifest, the perfumes and the odors and the true sensations of all of the love manifest. All these soul attributes became a beautiful body, a multitude of lessons man must learn upon the plane of soul. And here he tarries many ages until his lessons are all learned. So just like, you know, when you have a flower, it got to go through its different phases. It might start off as just a root. And then you see the little branch, you know, come up from the soil. And then you might see little buds. And then eventually you'll see the flower. And then, you know, so that's the phases. So this is the phases of life. We have to go through these different stages and phases in life to go through these trials and, to, and have these testimonies. And here he tarries many ages until his lessons are all learned. Upon the boundary of the plane of soul, there he must overcome, yeah, overcome them every one. Essences took on a final garb. The perfumes and odors and the true sensations and, and the all of love were clothed in flesh. And man was clothed in flesh. Perfected man must pass through all the ways of life. And so a kernel was full manifest. A nature that sprang forth from fleshly things. Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength. So without hard times, you never know how powerful and strong you really are. And so this carnal nature soon become a foe that man must fight. Let every living thing stand still and hear man is the lord of the plane of manifest or protoplast of mineral, of plant, of beast. But he given up his birthright just to gratify his lower self. But man will regain his lost estate, his heritage, but he must do it in a conflict that cannot be told in words. Yes, he must suffer trials and temptations manifold. Let him know that the cherubim and seraphim that rules the stations of the sun and spirit of the mighty Allah who rule the solar stars and his protectors and his guide. Allah will rule the solar stars are his protectors and his guide and they will lead to victory. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he suffers on the plane of flesh. Do you hear me? Let me just read it again. This is my favorite sentence of circle seven. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he suffers on the plane of flesh and on the plane of soul. When man has conquered carnal things, his garb of flesh will then have served his purpose well and it will fall. It will be no more. Then he will stand untrammeled on the plane of soul where he must full complete his victories. 
Unnumbered foes will stand before man upon the plane of soul. There he must overcome, yeah, overcome them every one. Thus hope will ever be his beacon light. There is no failure for the human soul. No failure for the human soul. <laughs> for Allah is leading on and victory is sure. The energy that's within you is here to do a purpose. It's here to go through things. It's here to have trials and tribulations. It's here to go through hard times. That is what's going to make you stronger. These are tests. Everything is going to happen in divine timing. Always remember law of vibration, law of gestation, law of mentalism. Last paragraph. Man cannot die. The spirit man is one with Allah. And while Allah lives, man cannot die. When man has conquered every foe upon the plane of soul, the seeds will have full opened out, will have unfolded in the holy breath. The garb of soul will then have served this purpose well, and man will need it nevermore. And it will pass and be no more, and man will then attain unto the blessedness or perfectedness and at one with Allah. Allah is the energy, the spirit, the creator, the power of awe, good, evil, it's just awe, life, life, energy. I just really wanted to share that with you all. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all understood it. Again, this is my copy. It's a book called Circle 7. It's the Holy Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Um, one thing, the sentence that I really, really love on here. Let me see what they got in the front. Um, I'm not, But they say, know yourself and your father, God, Allah, that you may learn to love instead of hate. Every man needs to worship under his own vine and fig tree. Do you hear that? Under his own I just, I just love it. Awakening is just such a beautiful feeling. We just, so this is a book I recommend if any of you guys are looking. This book, it, it talks about um, the story of Yeshua or Jesus, what he did between the ages of 13 and 33, because the Bible, the Quran, they don't have that in there. This book does, but what really moved me was chapter one. I'm telling you, that right there, it just, this is it. I'm supposed to live my life, go through shit, and come out on top. That's what's supposed to, that's, that's, that, yo, this book. Anyways, make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe. Be Divine Minded on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Be Divine Minded on Instagram and Facebook. I love comments. I love when you um, hit me up and tell me how you feel. Ask me questions. I love that. I love it. I'm not a therapist and I'm a student for life, okay? I'm not here to teach, but I can give you some info on where I found certain information and you know what inspired me along my journey even though I'm still on my journey but peace and love thanks for watching this video please share like and comment be divine minded